I started playing comp in chapter 3 season 3 when FNCS was duos. Having played no team modes in the past, I was super inexperienced and had a lot to learn in order to grow as a player. I was around 300 PR and the plan was to play one of my friends with similar PR, IGL them, and grow quickly as a player because I would have the responsibility of leading. However, this didn't go according to plan because my friend Leaf, who was way better and experienced in comp, just came off of one of his best seasons as a solo and was looking for a duo and didn't find many options so decided to carry me. Over the next two seasons, we were still duo, but as I mentioned in a lot of my videos, I felt like I wasn't making an impact on the team and felt like I could easily be replaced because I didn't do anything notable to help us place better and was just more of a support player. A few weeks ago, I was playing scrims with my friend because Leaf wasn't online and he noticed that I wouldn't really initiate fights and would just kind of sit back and jump in once he did. Then it clicked for me that I built that habit in chapter 3 season 3 because I had no idea how to start fights in team modes and Leaf would just start fighting a team and basically 1v2 them. This is just one example of bad habits or skills I've developed since I've only played with Leaf who's better than me and haven't been forced to learn these things since he's always done them. In order to grow as a player, I need to be able to play with other people, force me to become my own player instead of just filling in where Leaf needs help. So I've decided I'm going to start IGLing some of my friends and scrims in order to do that. I'm still going to play Vital with Leaf, but we established that Mono scrims aren't going to benefit us much longer and I can see much more progress playing without them. So I've been IGLing these ladders and I'm going to turn this into a series where I go over my mistakes IGLing and VOD review pro IGLs in order to become a better overall player. The first issue I notice when leading is hesitating and not being confident in my calls. I'll have an idea of what I want to do but hesitate on rotates and not be confident in calls causing unnecessary pauses in between rotates and putting us behind on zone which could lead to us getting cut off or drop down. There will be times where I'm staring at a rotate but don't decide until the last second when zone is on us to make the play. Something that plays into this is not scouting and having a plan on rotates beforehand. There was one game where I had forecast and saw that it pulled up elevation but kept us down until the last moment causing us to get split and having my teammate die. I was too focused on running dead side in first zone and then getting off high layers where people already were that I never re-elevated for the next zone. I would also make a lot of decisions on the fly and wouldn't communicate or give my teammate enough time to follow which would lead to them getting split or taking unnecessary damage. Sloppier sudden layer changes with low communication is the easiest way to get split or die. On the topic of layer changes, I need to be especially patient when going for low ground. There was a time where I saw a zone pull far and tried to claim and cut off opposite low and a kid got into my box from behind and killed me. We had plenty of mats and could have played a layer up and took it later but I rushed and got myself killed. The last thing I noticed is that I'm still in a fragging mindset and my first priority isn't making sure that we're in a good position to stay alive and ahead. I'll help look for kills without knowing what our next rotate's gonna look like and as you can see in this example, I overcommitted to this refresh and got dropped because we were backside too long in the hammer meta. There's a lot more you need to be responsible and aware of when leading and I need to improve a lot as an IGL. This was just a quick introduction to why I plan to be a series learning and teaching you things about IGLing. If you want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.